So you may have noticed that I've been using a couple of different LEDs in my projects lately. So I wanted to go over uh, the different kinds and how easy they are to integrate in your project, as well as a couple uh, that aren't quite as good that I got from China. Plus, I got new glasses. These are nerd certified, so perfect for my tinker area when soldering. Okay, let's go over some stuff. I'm Lynn, and this is the Darwin Orbit Channel. So the most common LEDs are these strip lights, and these are really easy to use. I mean, they come in, in warm and cooler, as well as other colors as well. Um, and they also come in water protected, as well as regular ones. And the way these work is that you don't need to do any soldering or anything, you just hook these up, and, and then you can cut them wherever they have this little copper mark here. Um, I really kind of prefer the ones that don't have this water protection, which is this plastic, because sometimes that can be a little bit annoying to get to, uh, whereas you don't have that uh, issue here. And in terms of connecting them, I mean, it really couldn't be easier. You just hook them up. And then uh, some of them come with this kind of remote, so you just turn that on. You can set the percentage, so maybe 50% dimmer or 25% dimmer. And this is a PWM dimmer, which you can see on camera because the frame rate gets a little messed up with it, and it shuts on and off really quickly. But for most projects, you won't see that and they work just fine. So this is a pretty warm color and they are like really easy to use. You just remove the uh, adhesive on the back and put them wherever you want them. So if you have been thinking about getting into adding some lighting to your project, then these would be a really great place to start because they are so easy. Plus they only require a 12 volt power supply, which is really safe to work with. And many of most of us have one of these around anyway. Uh, so that is really a great place to start for your project. So another type of light you can get are these uh, single LEDs here that you can integrate in various projects. I actually just picked these up for a project that I'm working on and it's kind of funny because I thought I bought all these different colors and I look down here and they're all white. But no, they do have different colors, which is really interesting because, okay, you pick here one, this is like green, it says. So let's find the short one, it's the black one. Okay, so here you can see it turned green. So you can see here that I'm using the variable power supply here and I can just go up, oops. I can increase this and then I can kind of see as this is getting darker and lighter. So you can see here at 2.67 volts it's, draw it's drawing 8 milliamps. And so these are cool to integrate in various projects as well. So when using these ones, they are a little different because they have to be individually soldered. You also have to pay a little bit more attention to the voltage and like if you need to add resistors. Um, so this is a red one. So this pack has three millimeter and five millimeter options. And I'll put links in the description to these as well if you're interested in picking one of these up. Uh, so, in several of the projects lately, I've been using these 10 watt LEDs. And these I actually got from China. I got a pack of, of five of them for $5, so they were only a dollar each. Uh, in many of the other projects, I used ones from, from Amazon that were $5 each, and they perform a little bit better. Many of these don't work as well. Uh, but I wanted to show and hook these up. See how they keep getting negative there. So, here you can see that they, there are nine little LEDs in here, but they don't all light up properly. So, here you can see, okay, starting. Oh, here we go. So we have four which have light lit up. And we have a fifth and they're getting brighter. Okay. On the higher quality ones that I got from Amazon, they all light up. Whereas this pack here, many of them don't work properly. Let's try a different one. Okay, oh, this one starts at four. Okay, right away too. So as you can see, these uh, cheap Chinese LEDs, they don't work very good. I don't have any of the other ones available because I use them all in projects uh, right now. But at the same time, they are only a dollar. And I mean, you could use them in projects, but they don't work the same as the other ones, that's for sure. So this one only has one light working. 
So these are all 10 watt LEDs that require 10 volt if uh, they work properly. So you can get one of these drivers uh, to hook that up. So to recap, uh, adding LEDs to your project is uh, a lot of fun and it doesn't have to be very difficult. Um, nor does it have to be very expensive. I mean, okay, so these single lights LEDs that I bought, I think there's like 300 in this pack and this cost like $12. And these strip lights cost like five to ten dollars, something like that. And then, of course, these uh, 10 watt LEDs cost anywhere from one to five dollars each, depending on where you get it from. And there definitely is a big difference between the cheaper ones and the more expensive ones. Some work as advertised, and some don't, but they all work. Uh, so, yeah, I just think that it's definitely worth it to integrate uh, lighting into your projects. So it's, uh, it's something that is fun to try out. And of course you can operate these in different ways. You can power them through batteries or through like a 12 volt uh, power supply. So, so yeah, just something to have fun with. Um, I will definitely have more lighting projects coming out on my channel soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.